Hi everybody, how are we all doing? I hope we're having a good week so far. So today is Wednesday the 20th of July 2016, um, which basically means that San Diego Comic Con is happening this week. I believe it's, is it preview night tonight or is that tomorrow? I think preview night's tomorrow. Um, but basically it all kicks off this week and there's a serious amount of stuff happening. Um, just so much going on. Um, I think the biggest talk of the, the, the biggest studio that's going to have, well, the studio that's going to have the biggest sort of exposures clearly going to be Warner Brothers. Um, they're taking 21, this is a record that they've ever, that no, this is a record basically for Comic Con. 21 different TV shows will be showcased at Comic Con this year by Warner Brothers. Okay, 20, 21. That's crazy. That includes um, Supergirl and uh, Flash, Arrow, Gotham, um, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, iZombie, Lucifer, I think Preacher will be in there as well, not to mention, of course, um, oh goodness, I've just completely forgotten it now, <laughs> it's just slipped off my tongue, that's it, the new NBC um, comedy called Powerless, um, which is a DC Comics TV show, which is basically, um, <laughs> it's just a basically ordinary people who deal with the aftermath of, you know, when heroes save the day sort of thing. And it's a comedy as well, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot going on. And we've also got, obviously, the, the movie side of Warner Brothers. Um, the biggest two that have been announced are Wonder Woman and, of course, Suicide Squad. We already know that they were at Comic-Con last year, but because the movie doesn't come out till next month, they're going to be pr present again this year, this week, and I'm looking forward to it. I will be live streaming the um, Warner Brothers Pictures, um, you know, segment um, that takes place on Saturday, July 23rd, um, from 11.30 a.m. Pacific time, which over here equates to about, I'm just thinking, is it like seven, probably 7.30, I think? I think it will be 7.30. Yes, it will be 7.30 p.m. over here, okay? So 7.30 p.m. on Saturday, um, that's when it's happening. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be very, very interesting to see how it all unfolds. Um, what am I expecting from, from this? Well, I'm hoping for, obviously, the new trailer, the first trailer even, for uh, Wonder Woman. Um, I don't think we're going to need another trailer for Suicide Squad. The movie comes out in a couple of weeks. There's really no need for any sort of trailers or anything. There's loads and loads of featurettes, clips, TV spots have been released. I haven't watched any of them, um, so I'm keeping myself, you know, closed in in, in that in that sense to make sure that nothing gets sort of spoiled, essentially. Um, but that's good, you know. We're we're almost there for Suicide Squad, and I'm really really excited. And speaking of Suicide Squad, I'm actually holding a competition from this Saturday, I will announce it on Saturday, but to give you an idea of what, of what to win, of what you'll be winning, basically one person is gonna win these two bad boys, okay? These are Harley Quinn's Little Black Book. This is the variant for Harley Quinn's Little Black Book. This is the, uh, the actual sort of one shot of Harley Quinn's Little Black Book. I say the one shot, but this was the first issue even. There's, there was a few of them released. This was the first issue. As you can see, not opened so when you if you receive them it's entirely up to you if you choose to open them i've got a few of these um superman flash batman and also i think justice league and also because i got two copies of this one i've kept one i haven't opened a single one of them i don't know what they contain um but i will tell you that they contain they will either contain um a variant cover a penciled cover or, you know, something completely different as well. So, who knows, with, with other tidbits um, in there as well. So, the, these are awesome. I'm hoping they're awesome, of course they're awesome, but this is what you'll be winning, okay? So as I say, the competition will kick off on Saturday. Um, I'll let you know the deets then, probably during the live stream, I'll probably do a segment, or maybe after the live stream, before or after the live stream, probably do it before the live stream, that way then it's out there, then everybody can get themselves ready for, for the competition. Um, back to San Diego Comic Con. So obviously, as I say, um, 
other than Wonder Woman and Suicide Squad, obviously they're going to be talking about the Lego Batman movie as well. There's going to be Kong Skull Island that's going to be talked about, Fantastic Beasts as well. Um, there is so much that is just going on. It is ridiculous. I mean, Saturday itself is going to be massive. Um, as I say, apart from the Warner Brothers presentation, we've also got the 20th Century Fox presentation. And of course, at the very end, between 8 o'clock at night and 11 p.m., Pacific time, I'm not going to be awake for this, I tell you right now, um, we are going to get the DC Entertainment Warner Brothers television screen block that basically features all the superhero TV shows of Supergirl, Gotham, Arrow, The Flash, and of course DC's Legends of Tomorrow, and not to mention I would imagine they'll throw in a couple of others like iZombie as well in there. Um, so really, really looking forward to seeing all of those as I say I might not be awake for it <laughs> but if I am awake for it I won't do a live stream but I will like sort of retweet and whatnot and tweet stuff about it um, obviously you may have known that there was no mention of the Justice League appearing at Comic Con this year that's a little disappointing for me because obviously the movie comes out November next year we've not really heard much about it during the filming process. Um, in fact, I don't even think we've seen any set photos emerged as yet, which is interesting, um, considering that we got um, a, you know, a few articles were released last month of people who had visited the set and talked about specific scene taking place between Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen. Um, you know, I've already mentioned that in a video previous, and for me, I do think we may get surprised. We may get surprised. You know, Warners might decide at the very last minute to get Zack Snyder onto the stage and do what he did uh, three years ago when he announced the, you know, Batman Superman movie, essentially. Um, so, yeah, who knows? I would like for that to happen. If we do get a last minute surprise, of some capacity and a sneak peek or something. I know that they probably won't release any any footage online like they did last year, but who knows? We'll see. I'm hoping that Warner Brothers do release something online after it's shown at the Comic Con as well, especially the Wonder Woman trailer. I mean, I'm, I'm more interested to see the Wonder Woman trailer than I am for anything else, um, purely because we have seen segments and snippets here and there of Wonder Woman um, particularly from the DC hour that they did, was it back in March? Um, just before Batman v Superman came out and they spoke about the Justice League, they talked about Wonder Woman, they talked about Batman v Superman, they also talked about all the DC TV shows as well. So um, I'm hoping we'll get something of a similar capacity released um, at Comic-Con. As I say, if they do surprise us with Justice League, I'll be excited. Um, other things obviously I'm looking forward to hearing obviously about Doctor Strange, the next phase in Marvel's um, evolution of their films, um, TV shows as well. I know it's it's sad that we're not getting Agent, Agent Carter again. Um, I'm glad that they've decided to scrap the Marvel's most wanted, that included Bobby and Hunter. Um, I don't think anyone was really going to watch that to be fair. Um, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is still going strong, so I'm looking forward to see how that one goes. Um, I'm really enjoying Preacher. Myself and my missus, we're both watching that. We're loving Preacher. We've just watched the latest episode this week, and it was a hoot. It was absolutely hilarious. It was It was surprises as well in store in that episode, which was brilliant. Um, and I'm obviously looking forward to season two of Lucifer, and... All the shows coming back September, October, Gotham season three, as we already know, Flash season three, the, the, episode, the title, the first episode is going to be called Flashpoint. We've got season two of Supergirl now on the CW. First episode is going to be called Adventures of Supergirl as well. And obviously Arrow season five. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm expecting from that because after what happened with Laurel, um, I'm still slightly disappointed about that. Uh, well, not slightly. I'm very disappointed that they killed her off. Um, it's almost as if to say, oh, she was, she had no progression. There was no way we we're going to progress this character. Um, so I'm very, very disappointed. But hopefully we'll see um, 
Casey Cassidy in some capacity because obviously we know that she's in Earth 2 as Siren, the villain, um, and we have seen her appear on, on The Flash. So who knows? We might, we might see her again as well. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am going to leave it there. And um, yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to Comic Con. Looking forward to seeing what Warner Brothers will release in terms of you know their movies and their TV shows. But obviously, I'm going to be concentrating more on focusing more on the movies. Hence, the stream that I'll be doing um, this Saturday. So come back here Saturday, twenty third of July, and we'll just let the mayhem begin. Looking forward to it. Anyway, thank you all very much. See you all very soon.